Now I'm going to show you how to put in our um, vent holes for the altimeter um, as well as the uh, holes for putting in the rivets attaching to this uh, upper body tube. First, um, to put in our rivets, we have three of them, so we'll need to mark where they're going to need to go. I have a template printed out here. So just align it on the template. Mark it off. You'll probably want to use a pencil. We're using a marker because it shows up a little better. And with these marks, we'll take our steel angle here. Just draw a line. And since this tube is um, it's about three and a half inches on each side of that centering wing, we'll want the rivets to be in the center of that. So we'll mark, take our ruler and mark one and a three-fourths inches up from the bottom edge. Put two pieces together, and just so they stay together and they don't shift when you are drilling, we're going to actually masking tape them together. For the rivets, we'll use a 560 or 532 inch um, drill bit. Make sure it's the right way. We'll just drill through both layers of the tube. Now that they're drilled, we should clean them up a bit. Um, we don't like all the burrs that are on the edges. Before you shift the tube around, you'll want to make a uh, witness mark so you know exactly how everything lines up again. So then you would just line up these two marks here and your rivet holes will be lined up once again. Pop that apart. Um, to kind of keep down on some of those paper burrs that pop up around the edge of the hole, a little bit of glue down. Wipe off any excess. Then we'll take our sanding block. Just sand down the parts where it pops up. Then we'll do the same on the inside. Put your finger over the hole so you can kind of feel where the sanding is happening. Then we'll actually take the bit out of the drill. Twist it around in that hole, clean it up. A little bit more. Hit it again with the sanding block if you need to. Then you'll do the same thing to the interior coupler. Once those are all clean, you'll slide your two pieces back together, lining up the marks you made earlier. Then you should just be able to push the rivets in. Take them apart first. 
slide. Where's the per first half, bottom half? Keep it nice and tight, then you put the top half in. And you have your rivets all set. Now that we've got the rivets in, we can um, drill in the hole, the vent hole for um, our ult altimeter. Um, here I'm using a uh, eighth inch bit, quarter inch bit. Let's get my uh, dimensions straight here someday. Um, so, and we'll just put it right in the middle of this gap. Well, actually, I'm going to pop this rivet out. The rivets um, keep this from coming apart at this point. Instead, it'll come off. The nose cone will come off. Put that aside, and we'll just clean this the same way we did with the rivet holes earlier. There you go, nice clean hole for your altimeter vent hole. Now we can start assembling the sled. Um, earlier we had um, epoxied the eyeballs to the bulkhead so that's set and we also glued um, the pieces of the actual sled together. Slide our two threaded rods in place. And to keep the sled from sliding around inside the altimeter, we've actually got a couple of nuts here that we're going to twist on. Um, that way you, your electronics won't be pulled around if when they're attached to charges on the bulkheads or if you had a push button on the side, it'll stay in one spot. so that they're not so that they're mostly even and then we'll take one of the bulkheads it doesn't really matter which I'm gonna go with this one Oops. gotta put the nuts on the ends here so that the bulkhead will stay put when you pull it out and you're not pulling both your bulkheads loose. Washer on each of the inside. Slide it through your bulkhead. Make sure there's enough room to put another nut and washer on each side. These we won't epoxy because we actually want it to be able to take everything apart. Um, so we got that. Slide this in place. Slide on your second bulkhead. Washers and nuts. And you got your eBay assembled. Um, if you can look through this hole and align your interior sled to where your um, the push button would be, 
So um, but we don't have our altimeter installed on there yet, so we'll do that at a later point. Um, so now we'll put the eBay inside the tube, putting this on backwards. Line up the marks, reinstall your rivets. Nose cone goes on top. We've got the bottom that we finished here. Slide it, and you've got your whole rocket put together, and you're ready to do your priming and painting. <laughs>